game last season at Angel Stadium. The Red Sox are in town, the premier game of the season. Being from Southern California, a diehard Lakers fan, I don't like Boston teams at all. Mookie Betts walks up to the plate. I believe it was the first pitch, and boom, knocks one out of the park, and I'm upset. But I can't be upset because Mookie Betts has one of the nicest chains in all of MLB, and in this video, we're going to talk about it. Now, a lot has changed since last season. He is now on the Dodgers and he got that mega deal. We call him Mookie Money. Bet that he can afford an iced out Cuban link diamond tennis chain. He could look like your favorite rapper very quickly, but he stuck with his classic figure and that's why I like it. That's why I'm fired up to do this video. I believe it's a 24 inch length, again, neck size, and your body type depends on how a chain is gonna wear on you. He is an athlete, he is a baseball player. I'm the guy in the crowd eating the nachos in the seventh inning when I already had three hot dogs. So we are a little bit different there, but I got the 24 inch, I have a 12 millimeter Figaro chain. I also got a nine and a half millimeter, just under 10 millimeters. I believe his Figaro is between 10 to 12 millimeters. Again, I'm just basing off what I see, something around there, but nonetheless, it's that big Figaro. It's an awesome classic look, that baseball chain look. We all know baseball players have the best chains. They're allowed to wear them when they play, so we could see them, but they tend to stick with classic links, and Mookie's is the standard because it's a big old, Figaro chain that is classic. Something I'd like to point out is Mookie's Figaro has a standard lobster class. A lot of people freak out with chains of this way. This is 130 grams. It's not super heavy, but it's not light either, and I'm sure his is very similar. They want a box lock, upgraded lock, but he has the OG standard lobster class, and he's out there wheeling, dealing, sending home runs into left field as this guy is eating ice cream in the eighth inning when I had nachos in the seventh, and three hot dogs earlier on in that game. So he's definitely active. The chain is moving around and it's holding up well. So that is a testament to the lobster clasp itself. They're not always a bad thing, but with an athlete like him, it works well, especially for a heavier chain like these big Figaro. So it's kind of interesting that he has and kept that lobster clasp because obviously he could very well switch it and pay for a more expensive box lock. Guys, what do you think about Mookie's Figaro chain? Do you like it? Is that the most classic chain in the MLB today? It's always stood out for me. I would take this chain over an iced out or a diamond tennis chain any day. You get the value, gold is going up. It is a smart move and obviously it stands out because if you watch baseball, if you know about sports, you've seen Mookie's Figaro and you said, dang, that is a nice chain. I guarantee because that's what I, I personally don't even like Figaro's that much. I didn't like the Red Sox, but I've always respected Mookie because he wore that classic link style. Now he's a Dodger. Go Mookie. Go do your thing. Get us a World Series. That's it for today's video. Drop a comment down below who you want me to review next and I'll make it happen and we'll see you on our next jewelry video.